Hi, welcome to another video of Crafts and Decor. Today I'm gonna show you how to make different accessories with milk and vinegar. Here I have all the materials that we're gonna need, so let's start! We will use these images as a reference to make your accessories that will be key holders, bracelets and a necklace. In a bowl like this, we will put about 3 quarters of a cup of milk. Can you believe we can use milk to make accessories? I was very surprised when I found out. Now, we will put 4 tablespoons of vinegar into the bowl. We will mix it with a spoon and this is how it will look. It looks like the milk wants to separate from the vinegar. So these thick parts will start to appear and those parts are exactly what we'll need. So we're gonna stir it a little bit more. And some more, let's keep stirring it. Very good! Now that it's done, we will strain the mix into another bowl so we can stay just with the thicker parts. We will use a spoon to mix it a little so all the water comes down. Look, all the water is in the bowl and everything in the strainer is what we're gonna use. This looks like a mash, but this is actually all the milk's protein. Now that we have it ready, we will pour our mix in a paper towel so it absorbs all the water left. It looks a little bit like a watery cottage cheese, so we will continue to try making it dry. We will fold the paper towel a few times so it absorbs the water left on the top. And it's basically dry, so now we can use it as we would normally use clay. It's so cool, right? Now we'll take a modeling tool like this one or maybe even a spoon again to smash it like this. For the first accessory that's going to be a bracelet, I made these three things. We need to mold them very carefully so they don't break, so first I made a donut, this will be a watermelon and this one is a coffee cup. We had to make more milk clay because we will make lots of things, this one will be for a necklace. The necklace will have the sun and the moon, so we will use this mold baking mold to help us transform the clay into a circle. We will use the plastic layer between the mold and the clay so that the milk won't get stuck in the mold and it's easier to take out. Once that we have it like this, we will take it out and here's the circle. Then we'll take a bottle cap that will help us cut a smaller circle, cause this one is too big for our necklace. Let's get rid of all the edges that we won't need. If there are more leftovers, we will take them out gently with our fingers and then we'll press and mold the clay again so it looks even. Here's the first circle for the sun necklace, so we will make another one for the moon. It looks so much prettier now. And now we will make the pieces for our key holder, so we'll fill the little mold with the mix of milk again, smashing it gently with our fingers. Then we will take out the clay again, just like we did before. And we will make it as even as possible with our fingers. And this will be the face of a panda! We made another one, but this one will be a unicorn! It will look so awesome! Make it into a perfect circle with your fingers again! Now that I have the third circle ready, I will use a modeling tool like this or a wooden stick, you can even use a tiny pencil, to make a hole in the middle and transform it into a donut. And this will be a key holder as well. Here I have all the pieces for my accessories, so now we will have to gather all our patients, cause we'll need to wait 2 days so they can dry completely. After 2 days they will look like this, they're dry and the color changed, but they're a bit oily so we will use a paper towel again to clean all of them. Then we will use a nail file to make the edges look smooth and even. And we will use these earring hooks to stick them to all our pieces, so in this case we will need 10 earring hooks. Here we have all the pieces that we will use to make the accessories with their respective hooks. So now we'll take one and we'll apply a layer of white acrylic paint to it. This will work as a foundation for the next color so that they look stronger. This is how they're gonna look once painted! They actually look like before when they were still wet. 
It's time to decorate them! First, for our food bracelet, we will use this paint to make the watermelon. Don't worry, the green paint will go after it. Once the paint is dry, we'll use green to paint the watermelon rind. Trying to be very careful, I recommend you to use a thin brush for this. Now we'll use a light shade of brown or peanut brown like this one to color the donut. And when the brown paint is dry, we will use a pink like this one to make the glaze. It will look so delicious! We can use a piece of tiny wire or even one earring hook to paint the color sprinkles of the donut. Let's make them blue, purple and yellow. And we will use the same technique for the seeds of the watermelon. Now it's time for the coffee cup. We'll draw a stripe with light brown acrylic paint. Remember to draw them on both sides. And then we will draw the edges with black so it looks very cute. Finally, let's apply clear nail polish to this and all the pieces that we made so they look beautiful and shiny. We will use this wonderful bicolor thread that I have here to thread up the hooks of our decorations. First the donut, then we'll thread up the second hook and we'll do the same with the third one. And look, our first accessory is ready! It fits my hand perfectly and it's so cool! Okay, it's time for our second accessory, the moon and sun necklace. Let's start with the moon. We'll paint it all gray with acrylic paint. So the next thing we'll do is to put a small amount of white paint in a sponge and then we'll use it to put tiny spots of white all over the surface so it looks like the real moon. For the sun, we will use this beautiful shade of yellow, trying to cover all the white spots. We'll make a large strip of foam with little triangles like this ones that will be the sun rays. They will look so cute! Let's put glue all around the circle so that we can stick the sun rays that we just made to it. Look at the moon! It's so beautiful! It looks so real! Let's apply a layer of clear nail polish to its surface. And now let's do the same for the sun so it looks really shiny. Once the nail polish is dry, we will thread up the first hook like this to make our necklace. Then we'll do the same with the moon and it's almost done! We're just missing some final details so it looks even cuter. We will draw a cute face on each one. Okay, so we'll start with the eyes of the sun, very good. And we'll continue with the moon's eyes but they're going to be closed. Then the pupils. And finally, we'll put some blush on their cheeks so they look adorable. Here's our super cute necklace, guys! Oh, I love the faces of the sun and the moon! It will look so good on you! Now we'll make the key holders. We will draw two circles on a small piece of black foam sheet to make the ears of our panda. And then we'll just cut them perfectly. We drew the eyes in the mouth of our little panda with a pencil, so now we're gonna paint them black, following the lines that we just made. To draw the rest of the face, we will use a small piece of wire like this or a needle. And with another needle, we will draw its little pupils and the spark in its eyes. Now we'll change to this pink to make his cute cheeks. It's time for its ears. We will place them with some glue on the top of its head like this. It's almost done! For the final touch, we'll just need to apply a thin layer of clear nail polish so it ends up looking very nice. Then, we will use a pair of pliers to open this part of the hook so we can put the actual key holder inside. Once we have them inside, we'll use the pliers again, but this time to close the hook. And that's it! It's super cute, don't you agree? Let's start with the second key holder that's a donut. We'll do the same that we did for the little one that we used for the bracelet. So first, we'll paint it all brown. After the brown paint is dry, we will put a layer of pink acrylic paint to make the glaze. Yummy! What's your favorite kind of donut? Mine is chocolate! And now, we will draw the color sprinkles with a needle. First, let's put the blue ones. And then we'll continue with the purple ones. And finally, the yellow ones! But this donut is still missing some cuteness, so let's draw on it a very happy face. We will use black acrylic paint for this step. Then we will change to white to draw its pupils. Same as we did with the other accessories, we will put clear nail polish to our donut. 
We'll put the key holder here and then we'll close the hook with a pair of pliers. It's done! It looks so cute, right? You will never lose your keys again! It's time to start with the last one! This will be a baby unicorn! We will use this glitter foam sheet to make the horn, so let's draw it with a pencil here. And we will do the same for the ears but with this other foam sheet. Guess what this beautiful golden ribbon is for? The hair! So let's cut tiny pieces of it to make some curls. Now let's put everything together on the milk clay. First, the horn. Our cute little ears next to the horn. We will also put some pompons so it looks adorable. One over here and two more. And right under the pompons, we will place the ribbons. Let's make its face! This unicorn will have its eyes closed, so we'll just need to draw two curved lines and its eyelashes too. Then, let's put blush on its cheeks and it will look wonderful. And finally, let's apply a thin layer of clear nail polish so it looks sparkly and magical. Let's put the key holder inside the hook and once we've done that, we'll take the pliers to close it again. And here's our unicorn key holder! I think this one is my favorite! It looks so magical! Guys, we finished! These are all our accessories together! They're really awesome, don't you think? Please let me know which one is your favorite! Here we have three key holders, our necklace and this cool bracelet! They're all amazing! So if you like this handcraft, please give us a like! Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out any of our future videos! We love you so much! Bye-bye!